Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a public sector solutions engineer here at VMware Tanzu. And today I want to do a quick run through of the installation and getting started process with the Tanzu application platform. To frame the conversation, we're going to look at the difficulties some may experience in getting started with Kubernetes. And then we're going to look at how the Tanzu application platform hopes to solve that for operators and developers alike. If I were getting started on my Kubernetes journey today, I might go to the CNCF's landscape and look at all the various tools and platforms that I might be able to use and stitch together to create the environment that I want. Similarly, I might go to the continuous delivery landscape and pick out the tools that I want there for my path to production. We see already that there's already tons of power, tons of options, but also an overwhelming amount of choice for those that want to get started. So I want the ability to actually opt into the things that I find the most useful, but I want to have sane and logical defaults that make it so it's easy for me to get up and started. Some of my public sector customers might say, hey, well, Amazon, how do you solve this? How do you want me to build a software factory at on top of Kubernetes. And we can see that even with Amazon, there's an 11 step main process that you follow to configure their recommended platform, followed by a number of prerequisites, followed by steps for the steps to get started. Now that's not shade at Amazon. Even today, you'll see that there's some configuration that we had to do to get started on the Tanzu application platform. But the idea here being, we wanna minimize that amount of configuration for folks to get started while still giving them the underlying power that is an open Kubernetes. So let's look. For today's demonstration, we're going to look at the Tanzu application platform running on the Tanzu Community Edition on top of Amazon infrastructure. Doesn't really matter how you configure this. It could be Tanzu Kubernetes Grid. It could be EKS. Whatever Kubernetes that you want to bring to the table, you give it that and you say you install the Tanzu application platform on top of that. For today's demonstration, I've already installed the Tanzu CLI locally, and I've installed the Carvel tooling on top of the Tanzu application platform. That's going to be the workhorse behind a lot of the reconciliation loops we see in how the Tanzu application platform gets installed. To get started, I've already created a namespace that we want to install, and I've added the secrets to actually connect to the Tanzu repository where we'll get these packages from. So we can see that I've already created the connection, which is great and very simple. And we can see that there are a number of packages that we could choose to install. Frankly, when I see this list as it prints out, I feel like I'm back at the CNCF landscape. There's so many options. How do I get started? What are the right options for me? How do I make that decision? Here's where profiles come in. Profiles are a concept within the Tanzu application platform where we can create sane starting points for a number of types of personas to actually get the right tools that they need to get up and running with the Tanzu application platform. For the sake of this demo, I've actually chosen the full profile and I've already completed the install. But if we were to run it again, it would be as simple as a single line. I can't say that enough. I love it. One line and it installs all of the components with one single config file. Boom, in place. It's really great. I'm super excited for it. So let's look at what was installed after we ran this install command we can see that there is going to be a list of all of the packages that we saw before because we chose the full installation and we're ready to get going. Which leads us to the next section. Well, how would a developer get started with this installed platform? We could create a namespace for them. We would need to add a secret for their registry, be that different than you know wherever the operators are storing stuff. And in this case, I've actually already configured a, while, a domain within Amazon because I want to have pretty URLs. So. If I were to get started now, after running that single command to get started, I would run yet another single command to create a workload on the platform. I have configured it to use the just plain out of the box supply chain. There are multiple that come with the tons of application platform. This one is just going to uh, compile my code into a container and then actually run it. So it's exposed and accessible. So in this case, I'm actually going to say no, because I've already created a workload. But you can see that this is just a 13 line workload file that an application developer would have to plot in. Let's look at the application that I ran before this. Hey, look, it's already done and ready. If I go to the website, it might take a moment because Cloud Native Runtime says, hey, you weren't using that. I'm going to spin it down. And once it loads, we'll see, voila, it's up and running. I mean. So amazing. Like this is the experience that we think the developers and operators alike will want when they get started from single line install to single line. Let me get in and start running because right now I've done one line to get us up and running and I've done one line to get that code out. And now I can push a commit 
to this, this repo on GitHub, and I'll automatically see those changes being made in my environment. I'm so excited. We hope you are too. Please let us know if you have any feedback. We look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks.